This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2024 StarCraft GSL light duty fifth wheel model number 274 BHS. Now this is a this is not a floor plan video. It's a how to video. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work. Okay, we're just we're just getting it cleaned up now, so it's it's not totally clean. So. Uh, it will be it will be when you pick it up um, so here we are at the door side rear and this is the basement here rear basement area so this is all storage here you can access it from the other side also okay all right let me look a little bit here okay so this is um your dump hose storage right here. That's where you store your your dump hose at. This has a, a automatic uh, self leveling system. Uh, I'll show you the controller when we get to it. Um, so it's a four point system. You have uh, two landing gear in the front, plus two jacks in the rear. Uh, they all have a this product called a strong arm thing to remember about the strong arm is it just it's just adding more rigidity to the to the jack so it, it'll take some of the shake out of it you just want to remember to keep it loose like it is now this t-handle you just want to keep it loose that's so way loose like right about there um, and then when you put it in the position you want once you stabilized it you can crank it all the way shut you can do that to all of them that's what I mean you don't have to have it this loose there so then you would you would shut it like that but keep in mind before you bring them up you always want to loosen them a bit right so when you're raising raising and lowering them um, you want it loose but once you get in position you want to tighten it up so keep that in mind alrighty so I'll show you the controller like I said when we get to it you have power awning with LED strip outside speakers this is your range hood vent here so if you're going to use the fan in the in the range hood keep in mind that there's a baffle right in here and there's two little finger holes for finger grabs where you stick your thumb or your index finger up there and you can flick the, the baffle open so it flaps freely so anytime you're venting to the outside you want to make sure that baffle in this this range hood vent is flapping freely okay mm, okay your water heater right here so it's drained right now and it's and it's it's drained and bypassed right now because it's winterized uh, you see there's your your drain plug and your anode rod which is attached to it it screws right into this hole here this is a uh, inch and a sixteenth six point socket you'll need to uh, to screw this in and out so you make sure you have that with you um, this this particular furnace runs on both gas and electric there are switches inside to operate it one switch will operate the electric heating element that's behind this cover here the other switch will operate the gas burner valve right here okay um, I'll show you the switches when we get inside uh, never run the water heater without water in the tank there's a 10 gallon tank attached right to this it's right on the other side of this right here and um, so you always want to make sure that there's water in there before you run the water heater. That's very important, of course. So anytime you empty it or drain it, you got to remember to refill it before you before you use it. Let me just fix this. It's bugging me here. It's not fixed now. It never will be. If I can get it. Well, I guess it's it's never going to be perfect, is it? Okay. Well, I gave it enough for it anyway. Okay, so, um, like I said, I'll show you the switches when we get to them. This is the vent for your furnace. This I might have to use both hands. Bear with me, please. Come on now. There we go. Okay, so this is the front pass-through basement here. Um... I'll show you the other side when we get to it, but basically you have pass-through storage, you have some, some hookups here, 
and uh, for a TV set if you wanted to hook there's power and signal if you wanted to put a TV set here you have um, six adults no, you have three um, 20 pound tanks so you have uh, 60 tanks of uh, or <laughs> sorry 60 gallons of, of LP three 20 pound tanks okay I got it out right that time the, these two here are hooked to the system like this and there's one on the other side that's not it's full but you have to bring it over here and hook it up manually to use it just uh, gives you an added 20 pounds anyway okay uh, again your your stabilizers here they have they have the front ones have two strong arms on remember what I said about leaving that wing that t-handle a little bit loose when you're raising and lowering it okay you always want to leave that loose Alrighty, here your batteries up here Let's show it to you real quick right over here and you can uh, you can actually add a second battery if you choose to okay Alrighty, so as we move around, this is your other tank here. I gotta do this manually here with both hands, okay? So there's my there's my um level that I couldn't find this morning. This is your battery disconnect switch right here. So if you want to disconnect the battery from the system, you just turn this to the off position and it'll disconnect it, okay? Okay, this is your um, controller for your leveling system. To turn it on, you push the up and the down at the same time, and the green light comes on. Uh, the, the two, they give you three options here, right? You have auto level, you have hitch height, and retract all. You'll rarely use retract all. The reason being, it, it retracts, the, retracts the front landing gear all the way and it'll nose dive the trailer. It won't hurt anything unless you have something under the nose, I mean. But you generally don't do that. You use auto level to level it. And then when you're getting ready to leave the campground, you push auto hitch height, which is right there, hitch height. And what it'll do is it'll return it right back to the same position it was before you auto level. So it, it remembers the last position. So theoretically, uh, <laughs> in a perfect world, It'll remember exactly where it was when you, uh, when you, after you disconnected from your tow vehicle and you pulled the tow vehicle out of the way and then you auto leveled. It'll remember that position, so you should be able to slide right underneath it if you if you push hitch 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 height to auto level. It, you just gotta go like that. And we'll just keep going as it does that. Okay. Now these are your, uh, this is your water uh, dock here. So you have your gray tank, your black tank. Black tank is toilet water and waste. Gray tank is sink and shower water. You have a, you have a black tank flush here. So after you dump your, bla dump your black tank, you can come to the, you can hook up the hose at the, at the dump station right on here. Make sure your black tank valve is open like it says on the sticker here. Make sure this is open. Then you turn it on and it'll flush out the inside of your tank. It'll, uh, clean off the sensors that sort of thing so it's a really good thing to use your city water hookup is right here um, then you have these different positions here you have uh, three different uh, well let's we'll see here you have your your pump and city water position which would be like you can see you have they show you the three valves the red the blue and the black so the red would be like this the blue would be like this and the black is like that that would be for um, regular city water or for pumping water out of the tank right so let's say you're you're camping someplace but but uh, you're kind of boondocking there's no there's no hookups there no city water so you want to pre-fill your fresh water tank so you would look at this one here you'd go to this position here right with all the valves in this position then it, it'll take the water from your fresh water hose and it'll fill your tank with it so you actually fill your tank ahead of time then you would take it with you to the uh, to the campsite, obviously, and um, you would go back to this position which says pump. So you'd put it over here. Whoops! You put it over here, and like this, 
and um, that would be the uh, position you want to be in to pump water out of the fresh water tank so as soon as you turn on the pump inside the trailer it will uh, it'll pump water automatically right out of the tank if you go to this position here with the three valves in a, in a, whore, or a vertical position, I guess you'd call it, um, that's to winterize the trailer, to, to bypass your, your water tank, you do this. So it has all the different configurations to, to pretty much do whatever you need to do right here. Um, okay, so the main thing to remember, um, when you're dumping your black tank, you leave the valve open before you turn this 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 hose on so um, you put the hose of the dump station right on here make sure this is open and turn it on it'll, it'll spray out your black tank clean off the sensors that sort of thing okay alrighty um, low point drains are right there okay fresh water drain is between the, the uh, or above the front axle basically just behind the front axle this is not your uh, hose, this is ours. This comes with a, a 50 amp, 60, or 50 amp, 30 foot hose. All right. And of course, we showed you the other side of this. There's the back uh, area. Now, you have, this housing tells us it's pre wired for a backup camera kit. It's a Furion backup camera kit. So we do sell them here. You can get them elsewhere. Uh, if you're interested, we do sell them here. Um, basically, It'll, it'll, it'll aid you when you're backing up, you'll be able to see what's behind you, plus it also will tell you what's behind you when you're driving down the road if you want to, if you want to watch, you know, use that as a kind of a rear view mirror situation. Uh, this is, a, this Lippert, seeing this is Lippert on it, that's a hookup for a, a telescoping ladder, that's also an option, so if you were to get one of those, it, you would have a, a ladder attached to it. Which is good because it makes it easy to inspect the roof. The manufacturer says every 90 days you should have somebody go up there and look around, make sure everything's in good shape, make sure there's no cracking or separation at any of the sealant, make sure there's no damage to the roofing material or the roofing attachments by, let's say, road debris or low branches, things like that. So make sure every 90 days you get someone up there to look your roof over to make sure everything's in good shape. Okay, that should be part of your regular maintenance. Okay. You can see that you've it's all leveled here if you can see that now okay okay so back here to your touch panel so this is pretty self-evident you, you go to the this area here this where you see the blue uh, symbol there well you can basically use the auto leveler you can um, you can operate the power awning, the slide room, um, everything you need right here. Then you can go to, uh, let's see, the home. And you can turn your lights on. Um, you can check your, your tanks, that sort of thing. If you come down to uh, climate right here, to turn on your furnace, for example, you turn it on here. Then you would come over to the mode, which is on heat right now. So that just kicked it on. So right now there's heat coming out. Um, so I can, you know, there's all it's all pretty well self-explanatory. So you can mess with it and and look at the directions, that sort of thing. But um, there's also a um, an app for this. That if you're interested in getting an app for your phone for this, you also can get that. Okay. So we come over here. Your microwave works like any other microwave. This is your range hood. I told you about opening the baffle on the outside if you're going to run the fan. So keep that in mind. Um, oops. Your range here. It, it probably hasn't been lit because the, uh, the tank was just put on here. So let me see here. Yeah. So it'll take a minute to get the gas up here because... Um, there it goes right there. Because... Um, I, we had disconnected the tanks and then filled them up, so there's still that little that little space of, of gas line that had air in it. It had to work past that bubble. But once you do that, um, it'll it'll light the first click every time now. But just keep that in mind when you change out tanks, is you're going to have that little bit of lag time till uh, you get it to uh, kick on. This is to light your your oven. This is the sparker. Turn it right 
or clockwise to spark the um, the burners in the oven. You have a uh, light here and then oven light there. Always travel with this in the closed position. This is all the lit literature that comes with it. If you want to learn more about your control panel and that sort of thing. Another good way to do it is go to the copy down your model number, let's say of your um, of your BM Pro uh, touch panel and then you go to their site. They've got all kinds of videos, product videos, that sort of thing. So that's a good way to learn also. Your keys are hanging here. Alrighty. This is your power converter right here. Let's see where we're at here. This converts AC to DC power. So as long as you're plugged into shore power, you've got 110 AC at these circuit breakers right here. You can see they're all labeled. Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC down here, so you got 12 volt fuses and they're all labeled, right? Then it's also a, a battery tender, so it'll sense how much energy your battery up front on the tongue has, and it'll uh, send as many amps necessary as, as, as it needs to charge up your battery. So if it's really low, it'll send, you know, 15 amps or 10 amps or whatever. If it's if it's just about you know if it's just a little low it'll just trickle you know a couple amps up there to to a charge it it just uh, makes the decision it's uh, it's sort of smart in that sense I guess you would say um, now when you're pulling down the road of course your tow vehicle's alternator charges the battery through the the charge line so when you're plugged in this will be charging your battery when you're towing down the road your your tow vehicle will be charging it okay. Now this is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green, like it is. If it's not green, uh, get it serviced. It should always be green. Um, obviously it detects carbon monoxide buildup or LP gas leaks, so it's very important. Okay, you have to remember things like, when you, you always want this in the down position, obviously when you're bringing the slide room in, things like that, so you have to pay attention to that sort of thing. This has the, these refrigerator doors are open both ways now, so um, you can go back and forth. Has a lot of room in it. It's 12 volt DC compressor. Okay. You can drop the, the legs off this table, the poles, and then set the top onto these cleats here. All the way around, there's four of them, I believe, yes. And you can turn this into a bed if you choose to. This is a hide-a-bed here, so it folds out, you pull the back cushions off, set them aside, then you would grab it here and fold it out. It's three panels, you drop the legs, and uh, you got a nice, nice hide-a-bed. And of course your, your bunk room back here, upper and lower bunks are pretty decent size, um, as bunk rooms go. And um, let me see here. You have TV hookups here, of course, and I'm not sure if you do down here or not. I can't really see it. Maybe I can see it from a different angle. Okay. Okay, see, let's see what else we have here. I don't see another TV hookup, so just on the top. Alrighty, so speaking of TV, here we have you. This TV is on a bracket, and it's strapped. The strap keeps it from swinging open when you're traveling. Um, this is a Connects TV. So let me just look around here. I believe this has AM, FM. Let me look here. Here it is, right here. I believe this one has FM radio, even though it's not really, not really set up for it. Let me see here. Let's see if we can find out for sure. Yes, no information. No information. Well, that's good to know. Okay. So yeah, you can play music. It app. It has. It accepts apps, obviously. Uh, let's see. Uh, if we can pick a uh, source here, that's probably right there. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, well, the, when this was prepped, it hadn't been set up yet. That's the problem. So uh, we'll make sure that it's set up by the time you get here. Um, we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, let's see. What else have we got here? Look around. Here in the bathroom, we have a... Uh, First thing you would see is a GFCI here. All the plugs in the trailer are wired to a GFCI, so if, you, if you're using the outside plug and it pops, you're gonna reset it in here. Sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. The toilet works like any other travel trailer toilet in that there's a, a, um, a uh, it, the toilet sits right over a black tank. You see it's got antifreeze in it right now. You have a flush pedal down here. And um, what you're going to want to do when you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water, obviously. Then you'll come up here and you'll dump a dose of chemical right into the bowl, right? Then you'll stand on the flush pedal and hold it down long enough for a gallon or so of water to, to go into the tank below. Uh, so once you put a, at least a gallon of water, you can use more if you want, but at least a gallon of water and the chemical, you're all set. If you don't do that, you'll, it'll get clogged up for one thing and, and the smell will be terrible. So you always got to remember that you want a dose of chemical and at least a gallon of water in there before you start using it, okay? All right, and you have a fan here, of course. Skylight. All right. Here we come up into the bedroom. Some chargers here. This comes up to us. Oh no, just just regular charger. Okay, phone charger. Um, regular shades. You have a emergency escape window here. You're just gonna let me get right over this. Get the pop open. Okay, so you're basically gonna push this all the way through, all the way through, and then you grab a hold of this red uh, tab here and pull the screen out. And you can escape during an emergency. Okay. You have TV hookups here. So you have uh, your hookups here, plus a backing plate to put a bracket. Okay. And then more storage. It's like a built in storage, which is kind of neat. Let's see that set up too often. It's really gives you a lot of room. Okay. This is just a sensor for the HVAC system. So anytime there's one in the in the back also. It's just it's just a sensor. Okay. All right. I think we've gone over everything. You'll be able to look it over when you when you pick it up, obviously, and we can talk to you about it. Answer answer any more questions you have. Um. So first of all, thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Second of all, um, remember to inspect your roof every 90 days. Um, you're just looking for, you can't see what's happening on the roof unless you're up there looking down because obviously you can't see the roof from the ground, so you have to be up there. Um, so if you don't want to do it yourself, you can have somebody do it. Just always, you know, you got to be careful, obviously. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's dangerous, so you have to be very careful. But, um, you're looking for cracking and separation when it comes to the sealant. You're looking for damage that could be caused by uh, um, low branches or road debris flying up there, that sort of thing. You can't see it, what's happening up there unless you look, and so it's important because you're protecting your investment. Also, um, this is winterized right now, so the, the um, water's been purged from the system and replaced with antifreeze. Your, your water heater tank is, is bypassed right now and empty so make sure you 
you put the valves in the correct position and you fill it up with water before you ever turn it on, okay? Okay, thank you very much.